Good afternoon. Welcome to my 10 tags of Halloween Day 2. Today, as promised, I'm going to show you how I made this witch for this tag. What's required to make the witch is a picture which you print on your inkjet printer in black and white. It can be any picture off the computer, it can be any picture that you've taken, as long as you convert it to black and white or else you just print in black and white. A piece of cardstock, Mod Podge, a brush, and a brayer. So the first thing I did after I printed this picture was I let it sit for about five minutes to make sure the ink was dry because we didn't want it to spear. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to heavily coat it with the Mod Podge. Now this can be glossy, it can be um, matte, it can be any um, kind of Mod Podge or any kind of medium like that that you want. Get it good and covered. You want the whole picture or at least the part that you want um, to transfer cover. Now I find it easier to cover the whole picture and then cut out the part I need later. Now you're going to take and you're going to put it face down on your cardstock. Smooth it out really well and then I found that if you take a brayer and go back and forth several times to make sure it's really smooth and to make sure that it's stuck on there very very well. Now once you've done that, you're going to let it dry. I found that air drying is the best answer, rather than drying it with a heat tool. So I'll be back in about a half an hour when I know that it's good and dry. It has to be perfectly dry or this won't work. Okay, it's been about a half an hour now and this is pretty dry. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your finger and you're going to rub on the paper. The whole idea is to take the top of the paper off. I'm just going to keep rubbing. Don't push too hard. You don't want to go down past the ink. The idea is that you're transferring the ink to your cardstock. So just keep rubbing until you've rubbed the entire layer of paper away. This is time consuming, but you do have to be gentle. You can't rub too hard. Keep going. Now what I've discovered is that a picture with a lot of different dimensions in color works better. So therefore you have blacks, you have grays, not all just black and white. A, a big solid black area does not transfer as well. So keep going. I'll be right back in a minute. Okay, as you can see, I have all the top paper rubbed off. And what we've effectively done is transferred the ink onto your cardstock. And you have a picture of the witch on your cardstock. So now what you can do is you can cut it out or rip it out on the tag. I just used tearing and went around the edges. You can cut it. Um, you can do whatever it is you like for your effect. And now it's ready to use on your tag. Now the other thing I did with the witch is I just, after I ripped her out, I went around with black ink 
and sort of inked up the edges just to make it old and worn. Um, you can also take ink very, very lightly and go over top if you don't like the color. You'll find that this picture, even though it was black and white, there are slightly purplish areas, which I really liked because they kind of matched my tag. So there you go. If I could give you any hints, the first one I would be would really Mod Podge it up. Make sure it's covered very well. Secondly, when you bray it, bray it for quite a while, maybe even a couple of minutes, just to make sure that it's all nice and smooth because lines won't transfer if they're not smooth on the paper. And the third tip I would give you is make sure it's dry before you start rubbing off the paper. And that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this tip and we'll see you again later. Bye!